Hi guys, welcome back to another house update. I reckon there's this one and two more after this, and then we're done. Daniel's here. Daniel is here. Daniel is waiting for breakfast, you see. This is the setup that I was talking about last time. Uh, Jan is staring at the cooker uh, like he's struggling in a spelling test. And I am here waiting for my breakfast. I like six egg whites, scrambled, black pepper, and I like some pancakes on the side, but wholemeal pancakes with some protein powder in them. I'm waiting, how are we getting on? You could be waiting a long time. <laughs> Everything is in, it hasn't been connected yet, but we've got a load of progress with the house. I don't even know where to start. There's lights, there's TVs, there's, is this, is this connected yet? In, in the middle, in the middle. Oh yes, yeah, look. That's what we wanted to show you last week. I believe those are the Blum ones called Servotronic or something like that. How do we close it? Press that. There we go. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Only thing I would say about those is that they're the perfect height for Jan and I, but I'm not sure that everybody in the household is going to be able to reach it's those. Steph's going to, nah, so I reckon Steph can get to here. Steph's coming in a bit. Steph and baby will be here in a bit, actually. So um, the Kuka tap is in, Kuka hot tap. We have the copper splashback. Copper splashback wasn't here, Jan. Oh, was it not here? It was not here, 100%, it was not there. The guys are coming today to put the glass in front of it. But yeah, the, the color theme, got to rate Steph for that. The color theme, like the rose goldy copper. In here it's copper, in other parts of the house it's rose gold. The chairs. Yes, the chairs are here, which I am sitting on. And before Steph says anything, I did leave the covers on it because Steph is a bit funny about cleaning and dirtying her stuff but the covers are left on it and the chairs tie in with the copper profiles on the kitchen, the copper splashback, the table is here matching. Do you know, this is so well thought out. Steph should go into interiors. Yeah, that's what she wants to do. She likes interior designing. What do we think about the lights, the bulbs? I think of an American diner, but then I think of Saw. You know that film Saw? Like, yeah. <laughs> I think of, when I look at these lights, there's so many different moods. So with the different lighting moods that you can set up in here, every different setting is gonna give you a completely different mood. And we have the ceiling speakers everywhere. So this is gonna be great area to entertain. I, I assume that Steph will be doing a lot of the graft and Yanni will be doing a lot of the enjoying in this area. The entertaining. Yes. I'll be doing the entertaining. You'll be doing the entertaining, okay. Yanni will be doing the entertaining. And I'll be eating. Um, yeah, we've got control four throughout the house. Um, pretty much the majority of speakers are up. If it's certain areas where the speakers have not been put in yet, uh, they still need to run certain wides. You've got, again, we tried to mirror everything in uniforms. You've got both sides with the bulbs. Obviously, these sides are a lot bigger. Shout out to CKB who managed to get us the table to match the kitchen, the incredible kitchen that they did. Obviously, last episode, Daniel's like the best kitchen ever. Is it the best kitchen ever? You can click there and see that video. I think it is, that's just my humble opinion. <clears throat> and what do I know? I've only been in the game since 2006. Not bad, how many years? 16 quick maths. Okay, I thought it was two plus two is four, minus one, that's three quick maths. Everyday man's at Yanni's house, cutting trees. Very good, very good. Daniel does not want to do construction anymore. If there's anyone out there that wants to do a record deal, and get him, get him out there, get him into the studio. We'll get him out of construction. Actually, um, I've already spoken to Charlie Sloth. Charlie! Uh, Charlie bit my finger. Charlie bit his finger. <laughs> Click here to watch that video. Uh, and <laughs> and um, um, Charlie said that when I'm ready, I can do a fire in the booth. So I'm just getting my bars together. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm gonna freestyle it because I'm not gonna freestyle it. I'm gonna prepare my bars and I'm gonna go with my M&M hoodie. And, um, Is that an exclusive, yeah? Yeah, that is an issue. fire in the booth. I'm gonna do a fire in the booth. Just let me get my bars ready. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as long as Charlie don't shake me, I've seen a couple of things where he oh, spins the record ruthless. off. And, yeah, he's yeah. ruthless. Yeah, so if my bars aren't up to par, I know that I'm gonna get buoyed. I'm gonna take my time and get ready. You're gonna have to come correct. Um, sometimes when you do a build, things go wrong. We put the lights here. I'll tell you straight, we put the lights here. You can see the marks in the ceiling. We had to move these lights across because when this table came, it just didn't work. It was too far over this side and too far back to the utility room. So we moved it across, we filled it, and select decorators will be in Friday to touch up the ceiling. The problem is when you spray a ceiling and then you touch it up, it will show. Um, he's gonna try and use the most finest brush, whatever he's gonna do to try and make it so it doesn't show, but it is what it is. They'll probably be back in six months a year once all the cracks happen all over the ceiling and on the walls. A year, give it a year. Settling in cracks, How, with the amount of work that's happened in this house, and. The, the clay in this part of London, this house will be doing this for six months. Do it as well with me and Gus could do an effect on the screen. Wow. So it'd be like there's some sort of like earthquake happening here. So yeah. oh, is Gus gonna sit us on a boat? Gus could put us on a boat. Yeah. 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 
but there will be settling in cracks. But Jan understands that because he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's practical. When I Season pro. Him, yeah. He, when, when, I, when I say stuff to him, look like, like Jan, there's going to be cracks. He's like, yeah, fine. Just like when Jan tells me anything about a car, I'm like, yes, whatever he says, I take for gospel. And he does the same with me in construction. Plus, he was doing his own construction work long before we did anything with his house, his property work. Back in the day. Um, Steph wanted a neon light to go on the wall to break up the the room, which I think is great. It's a great saying, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? And there it is there. I think it looks great. It finishes off the room. This is a great room. It's a great kitchen. It's a great dining area. It's a great place to entertain people. We've ordered our chairs. So on the next video, you'll see the 10 chairs to go here. So obviously you can't go copper again. It'd be 10 much. chairs. 10 That's chairs. some dinner party, isn't it? 10 chairs. Daniel's birthday soon, in January. Do you know how old he's going to be? 40. I hardly see how that's relevant to a house update. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put it in. How is that relevant? End yeah. of Jan, yeah? End of Jan, mate. Send the presents. Asheville Yard. 40 years old. Jeez. What? Vegas? Vegas. But more like March. Let the weather get a little bit better and then we, we go Vegas. All right, let's continue on. Um, you've got the Venetian plaster on the wall. Robert came in. On this side, Steph wanted it copper with a lot more black, and on the other side, more copper. Shout out, Robert. I call him the Venetian plaster man. His company's Atelier de Venice. You say it? Yes, Atelier de Venice. Right, talk to me. Venetian plaster. So obviously, the normal plaster is where you sit on the ceilings, they get everything flat, smooth, and obviously then people paint over the top. The difference between Venetian plaster and normal plaster, would you just tell us, so people at home that don't know? I used to do for almost nine years the normal plastering, the multi-finish. I would say we use Venetian plaster to create like future walls, you know, commissions. Uh, some people say artworks, you know, so. Yeah, artwork definitely, I would say. The traditional plasters, the multi-finish, we use them to get the walls and ceilings flat, and that's it. The only thing they have in common is uh, they're, they're multiplied by 12, but the Venetian plaster being a finishing, a design plaster, is, is a completely different thing. So you applied the initial coat, okay, I think it was all rose gold. Yep. And then you had like a sponge or whatever, and you, you apply it on top. And what it does, it gives you like a, like a raised finish. Steph had this specific idea with the specific colours, and, and Robert gave us a couple of samples, and he didn't quite get the copper right. It was either too pink, or it was too rose gold, or it was too this, so literally went back and forth a few times, and eventually he got it on the money. We've got copper, We've got like a, it's like a black and a grey. I'll call it a dark grey, it's a specific colour from yeah. one of the Italian manufacturers. When Steph saw it, she was like, you know, this is spot on, so then we chose and uh, we, we had the colour, so. Yeah, then the application of the Marmorino is called, it's a type of Venetian plaster, this uh, dark grey plaster. Uh, it was applied in a pitted technique, so uh, you've seen me applying with a small Venetian plaster trowel yep. in a pitted technique. Yeah. How long does this last? I know a couple of people say, oh, Venetian plaster doesn't last, and eventually it will... I don't even know what it will do, but they said it won't last. Will it last? Yeah, I, I, have, I have these questions quite often. And uh, probably a silly example I were to uh, get someone, but if you were to buy Mona Lisa, you know, or one of the most famous paintings... For he's, com he's comparing himself to Mona Lisa. That's yeah. levels. That's levels. I'm not necessarily doing that, but if we were to have that, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't be asking how long we'd be lasting. Yeah. So uh, if you don't smash it, if you don't damage it, it's here for life. Really? So it, it doesn't fade, it doesn't peel off, it doesn't change color. So it's really, everything that can damage is really mechanical damage. Okay, fine. Well, we love it. We think it looks incredible. What do you guys think at home? We've done this side where Steph's is wanting more copper, and the other side went a lot more gray. Um, you also done like this split here, didn't you? So it's quite clever. So as it comes round, so that's like completes yeah. that side and then it goes into the darker version of the grey. The reason she wanted the more grey was because there's a lot of copper, there's a lot of light on this side to just literally break up the room. You've done a great job. You turned it around very, very quickly. Robert's been trying to get me to, to do something at, at Yanomice for years and years and years. I was like, no, nah, I'm not feeling it. And then when I done my house and I put up, I got a house, he was like, Yanni, please, let me come in. Let's do something together with the house. And Robert, if we're honest, you're not the cheapest. But when it comes to quality, when it comes to levels, you work at a very, very high standard. And they say, pay cheap, pay twice. I take pride in what I do, and uh, hopefully you see that. My biggest satisfaction with the customers are happy, because I really take this seriously. And I really believe that I don't sell a certain finish, but I achieve whatever the customer wants to achieve. So 
I'm not selling something, I'm selling a very well uh, execution from my point of view. Your quality speaks for itself and it's great. And Steph's happy because this was, this is like her feature wall in the kitchen areas. This is like Steph's pride and joy. And if you get this wrong, everything fails and you've got this bang on the money. So my friend, thank you so much. Thank great, so great much. job. And I'm sure if in the future I need anything, maybe in the garage, I'm tempted. Maybe in the garage, I will let you know. But for now, that is Robert Atelier de Venice. Atelier de Venice, yeah, thank you, Annie. For how many years will you be looking at that wall and how many times a day? Yep. To go with someone 10, 20, even 30% cheaper, it's not worth it. So you go with a man who can do the correct job, who's a specialist in the field, and you pay the money that he charges, simple as that. I did. <laughs> what do you think of the Venetian plaster on this side? Looking good. It looks good, doesn't I it? I really like it. I like the way he's done the variation. I like the divide on the wall between the two colours. He's, he's kind of done it like, like a fade, like that. Even though my trim has grown out, but I had a trim on like Saturday, I think. It's kind of grown out a little it's bit. A fade, it's a good fade, it's a good fade. Uh, you'll see a little bit right now with Dan from Airwave. So it's TV fit up time. We've got an 85 inch Samsung from High Life. Shout out High Life. They have supplied all the TVs for the house. Now, we need that guy Dan from Airwave. I always shout him out. Have you guys ever seen him? Hey. Oh, there he is. Dan from Airwave. How are you doing? The man, the myth. The name. Yeah, so I've been shouted out probably as much as anyone on this job and I haven't even been here yet. But, I, know, uh, I know. I know. I'll be honest, I don't usually do that. Me and Dan have worked together for many, many moves. He's done previous houses for me, as well as Jez's and a lot of other celebrities, Ulysses and people like that. So yeah. that's why I could shout him out early. Yeah. Right, let's talk about this room, mm -hmm. but then let's head over to the cinema room. Cool. Right, so yeah, in here, we've obviously got a beautiful 85 inch TV from High Life. So this is a Samsung. Um, one of their top spec models, um, and this is perfectly fitted into the alcove here now, so we pre-planned this well in advance. Hold on one second. It's not gonna stay like this, guys. Yeah, he's obviously working behind there. You know people be like, yeah. why has he mounted it like that? So just a little insight there. We put the TVs, especially big ones, on an articulated mount. So if I ever have to come back or one of my engineers on their own, they can pull out the access so we don't have to say, yeah, and give us a hand with this or whatever. We can easily pull it in and out, gain access, do what we need to do, and then put it back nicely. So it makes servicing a lot easier. Okay, we're running the whole house on control four. Yeah, that's right. Which will control pretty much everything in the house. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sky were here today. Yeah, Sky were here today. They've got all the installations set up now. So we're distributing the Sky around the house via a matrix. So all of the TVs have got access to Sky. Um, and yeah, we've got lighting on the control four. We've got audio, as you can see above us. We've got, well, this is a, there's gonna be a speaker in there. There's just a bit of access for some of the LED components, but um, we've got speakers, TV, lighting. Yeah, it's all going on. So I call this room like my wife's area of the house. She's pretty much designed this from start to finish with the Venetian plaster wall. She's got the niche here. She's got her sofa. She's gonna have a nice little table, even like the big window to see out. And there's gonna be like a, like a cushion there. So this is, this is her area of the house. However, the cinema room is mine. What you'll notice, her area of the house is pretty much finished and mine's not. That's called organizing from her behalf and slack on mine. Um, should we have a look at the cinema room? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. And just like magic, we're now in the cinema room. So we've got another 85 inch TV here. However, that is just gonna go on the wall, yeah. but we're not just satisfied with that, are we? No, we've not had enough with that. We need to go bigger. The fundamentals of this room is we've got an 85 inch TV, which is the general TV watching. We've got a 4K projector as well. So just at the back of the room, there's gonna be a projector box. And then that is gonna project onto the 120 inch screen. The beauty with these motorized screens is they don't really give anything away when they're up. It's got a motorized flap. So whenever you activate the screen, it will just drop down and then it'll be hidden away when you're not using it. We've also got a lot of speakers around the room as well. So we've got a Dolby Atmos sound layout in here. And what that basically means, it's a, an immersive audio sound. So whenever you do go to the actual commercial cinema and you hear an explosion going behind you and things like that, that's what we're imitating here. Who said that? <laughs> um, you'll get that, that effect basically. And um, we've got some ceiling speakers as well, which again, just adds to that kind of 3D immersive audio. We've got panels going over certain speakers, which allows the sound to still come through, but gives it a lovely effect and look. Exactly that. So. Putting speakers on a wall, in my opinion, doesn't really look great because when you've got such a beautiful room like this, you've got nice details on the bar, everything is top notch. We want to hide the speakers away, we want to kind of blend everything in. So what we've done is Yanni has picked fabrics and colour tones yeah. and things like that. We've got some little me metal inlay details on our panels at the front. So there's some real kind of 
effects we've added to it to really kind of step it up to the next level. So all of these frames that you can see around us at the minute, they're gonna be completely covered up. We've got some beautiful fabric wrap panels with acoustic foam in them as well. So that is gonna basically just round everything off nicely. Yeah, it's good. Look, even here, like where you got the, you got the screen here, Dan, yeah? So it's, pretty much, it's all connected up now, isn't it? Yeah. So this will control the lighting. So it needs a little bit of um, touching up, but right now, if you just basically was to do this, that will lower the lights above head. Okay. So every lighting zone is connected to control four. So they're available on the touch screens as well as on these keypads, which we've got just below. So every room has got keypads as a fundamental, but the more primary rooms have all got touch screens as well, the 10 inch as well. All right, well, listen, that's Dan from Airwave. The next time you see this room on the next house update, it will be finished. Obviously, the fireplace is there. They need to add all the, like, the little bits on the bottom. Um, but that's going to be... I'm excited for that. This is like, this is like Steph's. We call this Steph's... Um, snug. Snug. This is Steph's snug, where she'll chill with a little fireplace and stuff. I've spent some time in here. But to me, it's about the cinema room, which we're still working on, which hopefully will be finished at the end of this week. Jan mentioned it briefly. Television came from High Life. I'm going to shout out High Life again. Big up to those High guys. High Life supplied every single TV in the house and one outside of the house. Can't, can't, yeah, shout out, shout out them. They, 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 they showed love. And Jan has a code here. And this code is a lot more simple than the last code for discount. Because the last code was some high dash ye dash woo. And I was like, Daniel, just make it simple, man. If you try to buy a television through High Life's website, you will get a discount if you use Yanni's code. So 20 to 30% or even 35% in some instances. Depending so, on what TV you choose. Depending yeah. on what t TV. So check out High Life. There, yeah. yeah. So check them out there. Again, let me show you something else that happened. This arrived, damaged. Um, nightmare, end got damaged. And apologies, when you order so far in advance, what are you gonna do? Phone them and say, I ordered something two months ago and it's damaged, we just opened it. So I'm gonna try and contact them and see what happens. But that came damaged, nightmare. How cool is that? Again, color works with the floor. Ste Steph, when it comes to, to color, when it comes to taste, when it comes to an eye for design, she got it bang on. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, you've got control four, the screens are up now. Dan's working on this right now. Um, you've got the lighting. Let's have a look. Oh, what are you doing? There's a separate video coming out on Asheville's channel, control four video. And how are they supposed to edit the video with you messing around with the lights? Now they have to change the exposure. What do you think of that light at the top? How cool is that light? Yeah, I like it. Right. This light. Oh, you're the one that says pendant. Look at that. We're nearly there, we're nearly there, Daniel. We're nearly there, it's been a year, just over a year. Now that you look back, you think, ah, it's not been too bad, because I thought I was gonna move in July 1st, on my birthday. You know it is, when you're on a ship, and you throw your anchor out, yeah, like people just throw their anchor out wherever they wanna throw it out, and then they think, oh yeah, that's where it is. Sometimes you have to pull your anchor back in, pull it back in, pull it back in, and throw it out where you were meant to throw it out in the first place. And then we're all on the same page. Right, Jan? You've got over 100,000 followers on Instagram and over 300,000 followers on YouTube, just, yes. just saying. Yes. And, um, Flying. I can't even catch you. This, this channel, Yanni channel, has only got like 130,000. You started it off to me. I remember the days when I used to shout you out, now you're bigger than me. That really isn't true, it is but it's true. a nice compliment. It's true. <laughs> Much more famous than me now. That's absolutely not. Really, if that's the case, then why don't we take a look at what was happening at Sports Direct on Oxford Street the other day? Listen, this, this is taking me back. You know what? Fair play to me, came. Fair play, you came down, showed love and support, which was, which was really nice. In, on a home. Saturday, on a Saturday between one and two, my man left the yard, went home, got changed, it came to Sports Direct and then went back to work. That's, that's friendship, so I appreciate that. I had to nice support, thing. man. I had to support, of course. <clears throat> you did. Right, where are we moving to? Should we go, should we show them the utility room? You need to see the utility, utility room? Utility room, which is better than most kitchens. <laughs> this is the utility room. We have the best all-rounder, young Christopher. Hi, Chris. Say hi, Chris. Say hi, Chris. Hello, Chris, over hello. there. The, the hi, camera, everybody. the camera. Daniel's not a camera. The camera over there. Uh, we love Chris. Chris is specialised in plumbing, yeah. but he can do pretty much anything. To tell you a little bit about the history of Asheville very quickly. Tell me. The first man to ever work for Asheville 
was Michael. Then the second person, the second two people to work for Asheville were Chris and Bartek, because Michael brought them and said, we need these guys. So Chris has been with me for, how many years have we been together? 13, 14? Chris has been with me 13, 14 years. And Chris did his uh, gas safe with us and everything like that. He did all his schooling with us and he's been here. Chris has been here from the start. So Chris and Bartek and Michael been here from the start and they brought Dudek on board a lot later. But Dudek tried to swerve me for a couple of years. He thought he was, he was better where he was. Then he realized and he joined the right team. Yeah. And then they've been here for a couple of years. Yeah. Very good, yeah. That's good. Very good, very good. Uh, so this is the utility room. Again, CKB sorted this out. Um, it's very nice, it's very nice. We've got washing machines and washing machines. No, not just washing machines. Melee <laughs> washing machines. Okay. That's like the best. Okay, washing machines. The melee washing machines. I think you need to point that out. Like, it's the best. Like, I don't know. Okay, you tell me that. Not like he's ever going to use it, but. No. We've got two washing machines. We do a lot of washes in the house. Steph, Steph has. Um, it's OC I think OCD is fair when it comes to cleaning. Steph likes everything clean. She's a very clean person. Um, the Hoover goes all day long. All day long the Hoover goes, you just hear the Hoover continuously. We need to get a new Hoover. We're thinking about, let us know, Dyson or the Shark? Look, I'm gonna level with you. I'm from the <coughs> old school of building work. Henry. Henry, man. I would just use a Henry. Doesn't matter how old it is, doesn't Henry matter. Henry on, on tiles? Just Henry, man. And Henry, Henry on, on carpet as well? Just Henry, no, Hen no, no, Henry no, no, no. We've got everywhere. a Dyson now. Do you know what, we can compromise. A Hetty. A Hetty. A Hetty. Hetty, yeah. Henrietta. Yes, a Hetty is a pink Henry. Okay, so, I know it's the female version. Yes. Just let me know, Dyson or Shark? Or Henry. Yeah, but okay, Dyson or Shark? Or Henry. Well, if you've got a Dyson, let me know. If you've got a Shark, let me know. Or if you've got a Henry, let me know. Henry is a proper Hoover, proper construction Hoover, indestructible. Cupboards, so you've got the ones under the stairs, you've got the cupboards there, and this is all gonna get covered as well. They'll be finished today. Um, I think Jody is on his way, he's the owner of JTEC. So he just walked in, look at that. And get, that's, um, you know what, that's unbelievable. You might as well walk in. We did that last week and look, and I just glanced like, come in then, you might as well walk in then. Jody owns um, JTEC. He's the man behind the cupboards, the wardrobes, the walk-in wardrobes, um, the what? Headboards. Headboards, all the nice stuff. All the nice stuff. We got there in the end, we've had some issues with colors. So all the, all the normal stuff's been fine. West Steph's wanted specific colours and he's had to outsource that to specific painters and stuff. We're trying to get there. Um, but overall, I can't complain. It's, it's very good quality. Quality is good. Design's good. Even with the walk-in wardrobe on the top floor, the, the area was, was a weird shape and stuff, but you made it work. How's it been for you, this, this job? Uh, it's been all right. Top. <laughs> <laughs> See that face there? Yeah, that'll tell you it's been stressful. Right. It's the top floor was challenging, not going to lie. Um, probably one of the most awkward wardrobes we've ever had to do. Okay, yeah. sorry about that. Usually when we go into a room like that, we just go, no. nah. <laughs> <laughs> but when Yanni asks, we say yes. It's, it was about utilizing space. Yeah, which we've done, definitely. You've now got an incredible setup. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's coming along, we're getting there. Yeah. That's, that's serious. How many square foot is that yard? Um, just under 5,000. 5,000 square foot. And there is where you build... Design, manufacture, ready for install, literally everything. And that's it. And then you, you either have your own team that come in or if you're really busy, like I know today we've got Precision. Yeah, yeah. So we use Precision quite a lot. They're um, very good. So the guys from Precision are very, very good. They'll come in. Yeah, that's why we use them. So it, it just it makes sense for us. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going all right. It's going okay. So it's any of the any of the cubs, anything you see, that is done by JTEC. His details are on the screen. So when it comes to JTEC and Jody, customer service, great quality of product very very high and they do make it fit in all the gaps pause the stairs the glass garcia joinery have been back they built the stairs originally and they said they'd come back closer to the end to put the glass in which they have done um i know the mastic man is in uh, which means he'll fill all the gaps he's starting on the top floor and then working down but the stairs, I'm really happy, really happy. They look great. And when we uncover them and stuff, uh, Select Decorators painted everything and then uh, YK Sparks put the lights in on the stairs. I've still got um, DNS flooring. They're gonna come in and do the carpet down the centre. Um, but we've left that till very, very last minute just based on the fact you don't want people, everyone's gonna walk up and down the stairs, you don't want that to happen and get damaged. But yeah, always done. It's all painted. Um, Second fix of electrics done. Smoke alarms everywhere in the house. We have to do that for building control and for safety. Got to keep the family yeah. safe. 
Cameras inside the house as well. Uh, people might be thinking, why have you put cameras inside the house? We have in certain areas of the house is cameras. Um, security is top priority when it comes to the house. And that is why Shebang um, have done everything when it comes to the house to protect my family. So we've shown these videos, obviously a lot of people can see the house, but we've done everything we can. Uh, where are we going? Where prepared we going? for the worst and wish for the best. Okay. Fail to prepare? Prepare to fail. We don't fail. All we do is win, 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 win no matter win. what. Um, let's have a look in here. I like this room. This room's got a real good energy, real good vibe. Uh, you've got the LEDs. Um, so anything electrical wise, LED wise, that's all YK sparks. Do you know these stars actually, they illuminate. They illuminate, they stay bright, they do something. In a sycamore tree. See as well. Dream a little dream of me. Um, but yeah, this, this room's sick. Really like this room. At least like the chill out playroom. TV, there's gonna be sofas in here. They've already started building furniture. I said to Jan to keep the boys here for as long as possible. There's gonna be so much furniture and things to put together. And so many things like you saw with the table in the other room, he's gonna unpack them and they're gonna be damaged. So there's gonna be a lot of messing around and just moving furniture in particular rooms is better if we do it because you know, like getting nicks and stuff, you don't want to be traipsing things up and down the stairs, putting them together, making sure they're solid. And sometimes when, um, when people buy flat pack furniture, when we put it together, we actually strengthen it ourselves. So if we see something and we put it together and we think, nah, that's not strong enough, we actually add to it and make it more strong because you don't want to be putting your hand on top of things and they go, mm -hmm. and they go side to side like that. You know what I'm talking about. You know them cupboards and, you, and they rock. That's very Robocopy. No, 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 you know them cupboards and they... I know exactly what you're talking about. See? You... Okay. That's what they do. You know what? Let's talk about the doors and the frames. Pre-hung doors, they, they were really good. To be fair, all of the doors came on time. Again, quality was really good. Highly recommend. To be fair, I think everyone that's been worked on the house... Yeah, yeah, you'll know. If I don't shout someone out, you can probably work it out. Shout out Asheville. Oh. Um, pre <laughs> shout out Asheville. Uh, yeah, pre-hung doors. They supplied all the doors in the house. The frames, really good. Really good quality. Really pleased, nice handles. The good yeah, doors. Door, fr door frames, everything was good. And the fact that they gave us skirt into match. They, uh, you know what, fair play, fair play to Moishi. Uh, they did. They gave us all the skirt in as well. Skirt to match, which that was a love one. Threw that in as love, so that was nice. Do you know how unbelievably annoying it would have been to look at a door frame, an architrave, and then go to try and find the skirt in yourself? Then it would be it didn't match. It's from a different batch. It's a different paint code. It's a different finish. It's not matte enough. It's not gloss enough. So the fact that they supplied it made our life a lot easier. Should we head to the WC? Let's head to the probably the best WC. There is in the world. Yeah, this, this is incredible. Let's have a look. Look, Hollywood's here. Hi, everyone. Show, show you my teeth. That's Dudek. Been here a long time. Been here a year. Mm. That's it. Dudek, to be fair, Dudek thought a couple of weeks' time he'll be finished and we'll be heading back to Poland for a nice holiday. And then Daniel hit him with a, no, you're coming to the yard because we've got a lot of work to do there. Do you know the amount of work I have put <laughs> off? Asheville work. I've got no heating in my living room. I've got no heating in my living room because I know if he comes here and someone's not here, it's okay. Hey bro, I'm trying to move into my house. What's going on? I've got no heating in my living room. A training room that needs to be built in the yard. A merch room I need to build in the yard. I've got no lighting. I've got so many issues and I've left everyone here to make sure we finish the job because he's my pal. That's, I ain't going to lie, I was going to drop the littlest violin out there, but I appreciate that. That's good. Friends forever. That's, that's, that's nice to him. Right, let's show you this bathroom. Bye, Didek. The only thing with this bathroom, yeah, it's, it's well hard to film in here because, especially with me and you in here, we take... Well hard, from EastEnders. Is that the dog? Robbie's yeah. dog? Yeah, I quite remember that, man. Robbie's dog. Gus. Robbie. No, so, whose dog? Gus. Gus's dog. No, that's Robbie's dog. It, Gus? it was Robbie's dog. Before no, it was your dog, Gus. Gus. It was Gus's dog, D Gus the Dustman. He used to go China's when yeah, we used to go what? China Whites. <laughs> <laughs> I still know Gus. Yeah. But what, what, was, what, was the, what was the white guy called? Robbie. Yeah, but what's his real name? Oh, I don't know. He was. Uh, uh, Dean Gaffney. Yeah, it was Dean Gaffney's Dean dog. Gaffney, well yeah. Off. And then Gus got it. Uh, and we used to see Gus in China's on a Wednesday and be like, bruv, ain't you got a film in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, this bathroom is incredible. WC, whatever you want to call it. Tiles, tiles, the mirror. To be fair, the sink's not in, the toilet's not in. So maybe on the next one, when it's finished, we'll show them. Yeah, but you can just see the recessed LED lighting behind this, the bespoke mirror that was created. It's the little touches, the mitre edges. Something that I learned. I think mitre was a football. It also is a football. It is a football. A mitre delta. When you were young, you wanted a mitre delta football for Christmas. And, and, if you, and if you got that under the tree, what you did is you went into the estate and you played football on the concrete and destroyed it by the end of the day. With his Dunlop Green Flash trainers. Yeah, actually, our man was, man was actually wearing Puma King Astro Turfs with a flap over tongue because Ryan Giggs had it and I thought if I wear the same boots, I'd be as good as him. It didn't work out for me. And then do you remember later on, they used to put the strap underneath so then the, the, the actual tongue wouldn't come up. I had them on. What difference does that make, lad? Because obviously, when you'd run, the flat would move. You'd put it like that was like Maradona, but then you put the strap underneath, and the tongue would always stay down. Yes. Oh, good time. Didn't make you a better footballer, though. It really didn't. Had great boots, though. Oh, hold on. Come back. The lights came on. The lights are on. The lights are on. The lights are already on, bruv. They weren't. They just turned on. When you walked out, they turned them on. They just turned on? Man, what? He can't believe they're me. Like, they're like nodded dogs. You know, like, you know the, the churches, Church like, they're like this. Okay, the lights just come on. Have a look at the light behind the mirror. You like that? Yeah. Why are you like standing all like modelly? Oh, because you used to be a model. <laughs> the way that Yanni knows I used to be a model is because Yanni was my agent. I was. I used to manage you. Good times. Yanni used to manage me, and Yanni was my manager, but he was really managing himself because we went all the way to LA, and when I was meant to be on the catwalk, he took me to West Coast Customs and started taking pictures with the owner of West Coast Customs. Look at the look at the precision. Look at the precision. Tell you what, that tape measure, top precision there. How are we getting on? Yeah, all good, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, just going to finish the hallway units today. That's our plan. Get all these finished so that then uh, any last little finishing touches can be done. And then uh, I think our plan is to be up in doing the headboards oh, later on. You won't be doing headboards today. Not today. I don't Do you know why? That. Beds ain't arriving. Ah, oh, right, okay, that's the reason why. Yeah. That's probably why. Beds, uh, Lush, uh, shout Abdul Lush, they're arriving on Thursday, the beds. Right, okay. So you might be in either Thursday or Friday or whenever Jody gets you back in. Okay, cool. Okay, well, he's finishing off today. That is precision. Awesome, Thanks. There's going to be a video of me and Daniel watching back all the episodes when we finish the build. You know, let's say there's 15 or 16 episodes. We're going to chop it down to one hour then you can see the build from start to finish. I, I kind of wish that we had put up some time-lapse cameras inside and stuff, but with so much stuff moving around, it just, we couldn't do it. But we have got everything from start to finish. I remember the Even first day the first. when you gave me the keys. Oh yeah, I put the first hammer through the wall. The first, first hammer. I suppose if I put the first hammer, then technically when we finish, I could cut, I should cut the ribbon really when you walk in, when you move in, I should really do that as well. Good thing, to be fair. Good thing. I don't think I'm gonna do a ribbon though. Okay. They haven't really been shown the front of the house. There is that. We ain't shown the front of the house. The boarding has gone down. You know what? We can show you that. We can show you from inside out. Look. All the boarding's gone down. Oh, all the hoarding. All the hoarding's gone down, as you can see. So the front of the house is now exposed to the elements. Sorry, they're trying to pull the rug from under me. Oh, hey. It's I'm here fans. all week, guys. Good fans, good fans. Right. <laughs> they, they were actually trying to pull the rug from under That's it. Let's, let's go upstairs. Just oh, so you know, there's carpet upstairs. So shoes must be removed. Considering you saw me with my shoes off earlier and I was the first person to take my shoes off. He was because he was filming for Asheville Weekly. Click here to see Asheville Weekly. Plug. See what, what goes on through his week and then he pops into our house. I do. Up to you. Is, isn't it? But the Mastic man's here. Well, he was here, he's gone now. It was high and by. Um, he's just doing Mastic in the kitchen. In Kitchen, yeah? Wow. Mastic. <laughs> mastic in the kitchen. You do put Mastic in the kitchen, but not in a bedroom. <laughs> Don't put a kitchen in a bedroom. It's, it's a bathroom. <laughs> I know that. And isn't he doing silicone in there? I can smell silicone. It smells like salt and vinegar crisp. I can smell silicone. Yeah, to be fair, it's silicone. Or silicon. Dumbo. You can fly. Um, shall we have a look in the bathroom? He can't actually fly, he actually believes he can fly. He can fly. No, he does fly. 
It's a nice bath. Jesus Christ, there's about 250 kilos on the edge of this bath, man. <laughs> and you can see now all the work we put in with the mitered edges, how it looks now with all the niches. And you can see this is a very interesting um, shower kind of cubicle that we've built here. And we've got the black profile all around the glass, a really thin profile. And um, the hinges are covered. <coughs> Um, the hinges are covered as well and the black ties in with the radiator and the sink and everything else in here Really good man. Cool. Lo I, I love it. Yeah. A lot of the houses we do all the construction work and it comes to the fit out It's not necessarily my taste. I'll do it anyway But it's not what I would pick but a lot of the stuff in this house is what I would pick so it's been fun And uh, I'm not sure how many pictures I'll be allowed. Am I allowed to take pictures for my portfolio or not really? For your portfolio, of course. Yeah, yeah, okay. For your portfolio, yeah. I just can't put them out everywhere. In other words, so if you're showing people, you'd be like, yeah, I've done this build. Of course. Okay. Obviously. It'd be but can I bring people here, potential clients? Well, they come here They come here anyway. You brought them before me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, the only, this is the only bathroom that's got a bath. Um, everywhere else has got showers. We made sure we wanted a shower in here as well, so we've done like some special cubicle to make it fit. It's quite small in there, but it's nice to have a shower as well. Um, I'm loving the niches, loving the LED lighting, loving the lights behind the mirrors. This is a nice bathroom. This is a nice bathroom. It's better than most hotels. It's nice. It's nice. All right, should we head over to... Let's, let's head over from this bathroom to another bathroom. So we're at the top floor, this bathroom, this is a nice bathroom as well. Um, we try to make every bathroom look different, different tiles. Shower cubicle again. Yep. Again, the uh, shower screens with the black profiles on it. But this is my favorite colored bathroom. Like, I love this. The black toilet, the black sink, taps, shower heads. It's, like, it's like your Rolls Royce Rafe. I've got a white interior. Oh. Nice. Touche. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is nice, this is nice. Smooth. Smooth. <laughs> Criminal. That's it. I don't know who Michael Jackson is. I was going to do the thing, you know, where you go forward like that, but I could fall flat on my face, innit? Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Right, this is a nice bathroom. Um, let's head to... The rooms? Yeah, let's go to, let's go to a room. Uh, so we're top floor. We've got a walk-in wardrobe there, but I can't show you because there's no light in there at the moment. And I think it needs to finish off. Oh, they turned them back on. Okay, they're back on. Let there be light. Okay, it's not finished yet. This is what we were talking about, JTEC. Oh, wow, I did, I, I, do you know I've never walked around this corner? Yeah. So this is obviously a very weird shaped Hello. room, so he's made it work. But yeah, this is, this is nice. I've never walked around the corner and even come into this corner, wow. That's it, LED, nice and bright. Needs a mirror in here as well. Um, they just need to finish off a few little bits, but this is pretty much done. This is fantastic use of space. Yeah. This really is the good. best loft uh, walk-in wardrobe I've seen. I can't believe what they've done here. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I really like it. I like it a lot. Uh, out here, the reason the door's off is for the carpets, but they'll go back on now. Um, another TV, high life, um, and down airwave. Floor's uncovered. I know the cleaners are coming in on Wednesday this week, tomorrow. They're coming in tomorrow. What's their company called? Platinum Commercial Cleaning Services. I'm guessing. So they're coming in, they're going to do a big, big clean on the house. They do like the commercial, then they're going to do the sparkle, which means we can move in straight after that. Let's go to the other side. Let's go to the other side. Hi, Ferry. Hi. You okay? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Say hi. Hi. So another room, TV's on the wall. I like what they did here. Uh, so they painted like the cupboard in there. There's like a bit of storage area and stuff. It's really cool. It just looks great. It's just really, really nice. You've got lights all around the walls all around the bottom. I don't know if they're working. Let's have a look. Oh, hello. Hello. That's it, so we've got lights all around the floor, and the middle floor, LEDs everywhere. Downstairs in the kitchen area, spotlights on the floor. Put your head, put your head. Don't do that, you're gonna dirty the roof, the ceiling. The, oh. Am I gonna dirty the roof or the ceiling? <laughs> but how nice is the carpet? Love it. It's got a good underlay, underlay, underlay. Arriba, arriba. Do you know what you can? When you speak out here, and then you speak in there where there's no carpet, it echoes a lot more in there. This is, this is, this is stopping a lot of sound transfer. Bounce, it's absorbing it. 
I know, I didn't, I didn't put carpet in my cinema room. No, we're all right. Are you going to put a big rug down? Yeah, that's it. We'll work it out. Uh, we're still waiting for some lights. I think they're here. They just need to be fitted. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, let's go. So baby room. Look at this. Steph and Simon got this as well as loads of other stuff. Got parents. Look at that. How cool is that? Why has it got a seatbelt? <laughs> for the baby to sit in and be safe. That's it, so the baby don't fall out. Yeah, well, this is the baby room. It's gonna be really good. Uh, furniture's arrived, so we start to build furniture. To be fair, actually, uh, Bambizi, they're sending the cot, um, some other bits of furniture, and the mattress today, so they'll be in today, and they'll build that, so you'll see that on the next build. Chat out, Bambizi. Um, when it comes to baby stuff, furniture stuff, they're real cool. Nice light. The wallpaper, wallpaper. A lot of people said this is their favorite room. Yeah, this is real nice. Um, Does it remind you at all of a bottle of Belvedere? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is it, it's that there, yeah. exactly. But yeah, this, this is a nice room. Really, really like this room. Uh, baby's first room. So. Love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right, while we're in this room, master, check this out. Do you know what this is called? What? What, what would have been there would have been a threshold. But they didn't put one there. Yeah. So they call it an invisible join. An invisible join. So you can't see the join. So it looks like it's one piece of carpet running from there to here. However, that is the quality of a carpetman. Carpetman? Carpet. Carpet tradesman? Carpet tradesman where they put two carpets together mm -hmm. and it looks like it was meant to be. And you'd never know. That's good. I've done a section on that with David, by the way, from DNS Floors. So you know it is serious when the carpet is going down on the floor. And I've got David, who's the owner or part owner of oh. DNS Floors, Ian and Martin, who actually fitted the carpets around the house. So we're in the master bedroom. And obviously we couldn't get the bed out. Yep. How did you manage to do this room with an emperor bed? Thankfully, with the help of Daniel on side, we got a couple of boys up here. Wait, wait, wait. Daniel, he means Dudek. Dudek. Same name. Daniel wasn't here. Ashford wasn't here. Shout Ashford, by the way, yeah. <laughs> so we've got a couple of boys to lift the bed up on one side and we prepared it and laid the carpet on this side and then we transferred the bed over onto this side and then we continued on, on the other side. It looks good. Yeah, it looks very good. Well happy. And especially with the join, the invisible join. The, the invisible join. See, David mentioned this invisible join. Now, when you call it an invisible join, I assume you can't see it. To order a piece of carpet this size, it just wouldn't really work. So what right. we do is we order a piece for there and a piece for here. And the skill, this is a skill for a carpet fitter, is to seam the two car carpets up that you basically can't tell it's two different carpets. So obviously if you look carefully, maybe you'll find it, you probably won't. But in between this doorway is obviously a seam, but just makes it look like a seamless piece of carpet, no doorbars, just giving that beautiful look for Yanni and his wife. The skill set is to get it that it literally, you can't even tell that it's there, but you can't. Hang on, I can't see it. I can't see it. <laughs> it, it, it is seamless. So they've done a very good job there. You guys also did the, um, the vinyl, we had a conversation about vinyl. Now, obviously we put vinyl onto cars. You said something about vinyl and I wasn't sure about it and we ended up going with it. And what was interesting, when we actually uh, spoke about vinyl on the videos previously, people were like, vinyl is the best way and I've got kids that are gonna be rolling around on their chairs. Why is vinyl so good against another product that you'd usually put on the floor? So basically when you're looking for hard floors, right? Hard floors in the house. So your choice is either obviously wood, laminate or a vinyl, which is what we call LVT. Right, now wood is high maintenance, laminate, the quality is not always there. The beauty of LVT is that it's extremely, extremely hard wearing. It's incredibly realistic. So the one you've got upstairs is wide, big planks. It's a registered embossed. So it literally, if you wouldn't know, you would think it's a wood floor. When you touch it and feel it, to be Actually, fair, it yeah. does. It does feel yeah. like, yeah, it's got that texture. Exactly yeah. that. It's got it's the raised. texture and it's totally waterproof, very scratch resilient. And also because of the method of fitting, because it's stuck down and because we put so much, so much prep into it, that's what Ian did. It literally will last you for years and years. Yeah, we saw the pricks. You had to put, what did you, what did you have to put down initially? So we plied it, we screeded it, and then we touched it up with a bit of feather edge, yeah. as we call it. And then, yeah, that was it, ready to go then. Would you prefer to fit? Do you prefer to fit like vinyl or wood or carpet? I prefer to fit the hard floor in the vinyl. Why? Because it's let, you, you don't have like the heavy beds, heavy furniture, the heavy rolls trying to get them up. As you see me trying to lift that one up I today. I saw that. I yeah. saw that, Martin. Earlier on today, yeah. Put in, he had the carpet on his back and he was walking in like this, yeah. And Martin, the young fella's behind him just walking in. I'm like, hold on a minute, something's not right here. Yeah, exactly. That's, That's the I Irish said. in you, the grafter. That's it, the hard, the stock. Yeah. 
But you prefer you prefer the. I, I prefer to do the hard floors, the woods, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Fitting carpet. There's loads of carpet fitters out there. There is. There is. Is it an easy trade? Is it easy for someone to fit it? Um, it's a bit like everything else. It looks easy, but once you get down to technicals, like doing a join or going in there, or hallways where you got a lot of doorways, that, that's when you need to know what you're doing. But a square room, again, not everyone could do it because it's going to be lumpy. You need to know how to stretch it. We've got a special tool called a stretcher that we stretch the carpet with. If you put it in too much or you don't put it on hard enough, it can actually rip the carpet. So, so you do need to know. What, what you're doing okay you've obviously done the hallway upstairs as well yes we've done that as well yeah so we've done pretty i think all the rooms are done yeah the top hallway's done yeah the vinyl done two floors upstairs two floors downstairs yeah, yeah. what's left we just got the landing to do and then we've got to template the stairs because we're going to get the stairs whipped on the stairs and then explain what does whip mean whip means where you cut it to size so you got a nice border on the sides <clears throat> and, that, and then you put some taping on the edges of the carpet so it stops them from fraying and it also makes it look very nice and it looks really good it's really nice really yeah. the stairs yeah. will be a real show it gives it a really good feature yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm excited for the stairs we're going to leave the stairs so you're going to finish everything today bar the two stairs exactly because yeah. that's where people walk up and down we don't want it to get damaged yes none of, none of us wearing shoes in here i ain't gonna lie like got white socks black gray black have a look at Gussie's socks. Have a look at Gussie's socks. Jeez! That's what I'm talking about. Bit of haggis going on there. That's, I was going to say, look a little bit Scottish, don't they? Yeah. Well, I'm going to let Ian and Martin go. Um, but me and Dave are going to tell you a little story about something that happened. Guys, Lovely. smashed Cheers, it so Jimmy. far, Thank yeah? You. Thank, you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. you guys are based in Wembley. Yes. Unbelievably, Wembley is where I was brought up. You guys contacted me on social media and said to me, listen, We'd love to do your house. We spoke to a few different people. David came down with his partner. Your partner is? Sid. Do you know what yeah, we'll do? We'll, we'll show a picture of Sid on the screen right yeah, now. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, right, not everything went smoothly. Definitely not. We had an issue. No fault of ours though, just no fault of no ours. No fault of yours, but just so you guys know, not everything goes smoothly. Um, we ordered the carpet months and months and months ago. Months ago. And the way you explain it to me is when the carpet comes, you leave it on the shelf. So basically carpet comes, especially Yanni's carpet. Yanni's carpet is, was, is really heavy and thick. So when carpet's manufactured, they get, put it on a pole and then they wrap it. So it's very, you can hold it, right? It doesn't flop and everything. So when it comes, we don't open it up because if you open it up, it starts flopping, gets dirty and all that. So, so we ordered it months and months ago, it arrived a long, long time ago. He's like, got your carpet, don't worry about it. Whenever you want it fitted, just let us know. So I told him we want it fitted. He's opened the carpet not the right color. So when it happened, basically we took out the carpets to get them all ready for the fitters for Ian. All right, and me and Sid were there. We were obviously stressed because like a busy day at work. And these are really, Yanni's carpets are heavy and they're massive. And we like lug them off the shelf and we take them outside. We open it out. And Sid was, wasn't so involved in the technicalities. So he like looks at my face, he's like, Dave, what's going on? And I'm like, no. And he's like, what's going on, Dave? And I'm like, you know, he's like, just tell me, just tell me. I'm like, he definitely didn't order a brown carpet. <laughs> it was brown. And he was like, no, he doesn't. What color is yours? And I was like, it's silver gray. And he's like, but this is brown. And that's when like, we realized, basically. It went wrong. And he's rang me and said, listen, we've got an issue. Do you want to have a look at the carpet? I'm like, this, you can bring me the carpet. They drove from Wembley to uh, Yanomai's and Enfield to show me the carpet. Me and my, me and my wife, Steph, were like, no chance. Um, so we had options. The one thing we said to Jan at the time is I said, I guarantee you one thing, if it's in my human possibilities to sort you out, I will make sure this is sorted. So we were either gonna drive to Belgium to pick it up, but then because of Brexit and everything, they said we just couldn't do it. Yeah. So what we did at the end, we found, I found someone else in Birmingham yeah. who had the same carpet, but we weren't sure if it was exactly the same color or not. So I jumped in a van, drove two and a half hours there and about three hours back, because there was an accident on the way back to check in Birmingham. We took out the carpet and? there and same problem. Same wrong color. color. Wrong color. Wrong color. So they actually did order the right carpet. It just came the wrong color, like a wrong badge or someone had changed things. So it weren't just with us, it was in Birmingham as well. So we were like, okay, so I'm like, we got a problem. And I'm like, we need to move in. We're moving in this week. Uh, when this video comes out, we will be moving in in a few days time. So yeah, it was brutal. Anyway, cut a long story short, you managed to find a similar carpet, which to be fair, we actually prefer. Sorted it out, turned the time scale around. These guys worked on a Sunday, which you would have seen I put on my um, social media. And yeah, we, like I said to Yanni, we, we made it happen. We worked long hours. It was two days of a lot, a lot of stress. All right, but thank God at the end we got there. And as, as is, it's beautiful. No, it's beautiful. And to be fair, when you work with someone or you work with a company, it's easy when things are going well. It's when things go wrong, that shows what you're about. And they weren't like, well, nothing we can do, it is what it is. You went above and beyond. They, they were stressing, they were sweating, they were under pressure. I felt it. Um, 
I wanted to lose my rag, but because they're so nice, I was very calm and collective and we which we appreciate, which we appreciate, because I said that to Sid. We went down to Yana and I was like, I was worried about Yanni's reaction, and to be fair, he was totally cool about it, and he said, listen guys, it's not your fault, but we need to sort it out. But it's nice when a customer realizes that again, it's out of our controls, now we can do it, we really appreciate that you didn't like, yeah, lose, lose my rag. You've seen me lose my rag before, but yeah, nah, it, it wasn't that kind of occasion. No. We've experienced it before with vinyl. We've ordered vinyl before, wrong batch, different colours. It does happen. Um, but that is David. That is DNS Floors. Um, they've done an incredible job. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for so, the opportunity. So no, no. And Brilliant. guys, check them out, man. Very, very happy. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, um, the sinks are here. They just haven't been fitted yet. This is nice. The only thing I'm not sure about which the wife said to me should have done was put smoked glass. Really? Yeah, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Worst case, I could smoke the glass. Why? I don't know, it might just be nice to smoke the glass. This is pretty much done, waiting for the sinks. The boys when they're doing, I think, I don't know what they're doing, cleaning or checking or. We're cleaning around all the corners, so when we put the silicone on, it's completely clean. We can't have any dust or any uh, residue left from any adhesive or anything like that. It must be completely clean everywhere. Ah and then silicone it and close the door, and that's the end of it. And again, nice mirror, nice, nice fit. This is nice. I like this, I like this. Nice, nice, nice. This house is massive, man. It takes ages to go all the way around, man. Walking wardrobe, Steph's. Notice that none of the boxes say Annie's clothes. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll take the one upstairs. But yeah, we've started to bring clothes. We've started to bring items here now. We are moving in this week. So we've started to bring items to the house. There'll still be people working, I think, over the next week or so, whether it be, like you said, building things and checking, a, a few little snagging lists. But overall, the as house is as, as long as we give you the top two floors, and then whenever you're downstairs, you wear like a pair of slippers or something, so you're not barefoot, you'll be all right. We'll work around you. Yeah, no, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. But yeah, we're, we're close now. We're very, very close. Closer than close. Closer than you can ever imagine. I've got that one. I know that one. Who knows that one? That's it. Are you off? By the way, see, that's, that's, that's first, that's the wife. Um, are you gonna, gonna set up an interior designer business? Yeah. Yeah, is that what we're gonna do? Should, we, should, should you set up an interior design? A lot of people are like, it's gonna look gothic, it's gonna look this. And I've seen a couple of comments saying, yeah, I'll take back my comment, actually. It's not what I thought it would be. It's actually come out really, really nice. Maybe we'll set up that business. What would you help. call it? With help from my friend, 89 Interior Design. Shout out, Marie. Plug, Plug yeah, you, you can tell she... <laughs> Steph, no, Steph. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of us, she knows, she knows. Um, but yeah, could do that, could do that. Just the finishing is just clinical here, man. Yeah. If I do say so myself. See if you even look at the lines and how it's finished everywhere and oh, it's just perfect. If you look at the wall from a side profile here and it's, all I'm saying is everyone's done great, but if you don't build it right, no matter what you do at this point, you, you can't, yeah. you can't bodge it. It's true, it shows like the plastering. If it's not done right. If it's not done right, if the structures aren't done right, if the walls aren't built properly, if um, a lot of the levels on the floors above, if you haven't built up the, uh, the, the sub-level underneath, like if you haven't done that, everything will fall apart at this stage and the house will begin to show some ugly secrets, but that isn't happening. Can't polish a turd. You can't. And you can't pour syrup on a turd and call it pancakes. Okay. So everyone likes the kitchen? Yes. So does Daniel's mum. Oh. Oh. <laughs> shout out, shout out, Mrs. A, or Mrs. L, actually. God. Listen, um, on Asheville Weekly, I showed Jan's kitchen, and every, all the time I have to send my mum, like, uh, like the, the YouTube video, the link, because my mum has to send it to everyone in St. Lucia, because my mum is the head of all distribution in St. Lucia. So everything I have has to go to St. Lucia. So I send it to my mum, she sends it to Martin, and my mum sent back one line, I want a kitchen like that. So where does that leave me? So I'm not even gonna go into how much that kitchen cost, yeah? My mum's place is a lot smaller, but mum, I'm gonna level with you. You have a perfectly good kitchen with granite worktops and lovely large format tiles, mum. I don't know, but I don't think this dark kitchen is for you, mum. I think that just, I think you might just have to let that one go, man. <laughs> hasn't got decked and worktops. She hasn't got the finishing. No um, problem. Well, I'll, 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 have a, I'll have a word with CKB to see if they hook you up. And then- um, Yeah, you can, you can have a word with CKB. Who's gonna pay the bill? 
<laughs> you will, but think it will look after you. Think I think it's just... better that we have a family day here. Yanni invites his parents round. I invite my mum, and we all come round, and my mum can enjoy the kitchen, and I can say, mum, you won't like this. Mum, you don't want an electric door. Like, we're talking about, man. This is, this is long. And then I can or, talk my mum out of it. Or your mum will come and be like, now that I've gone to the house, I 100% want this kitchen, Daniel. Son. Hey. Like that, yeah. Daniel, son. Wax on, wax off. I'm not sure if, if, if my mum's going to get the same kitchen as Yanni because she's got a perfectly good kitchen because I refurbed my mum's about four years ago. Four years ago? Yeah. <laughs> I had some excess there. <laughs> <I mean, laughs> four years ago, man. And you're in the trade. That's like me saying I wrapped the wife's car four years ago. When's the last time you redid your mum and dad's? Oh, don't even go there. <laughs> don't even go there, my mum and dad. I can't. The they, they don't want it moved. I want, I want to move them. I want to redo their house. Ah, oh, it's brutal. I tried to move my mum at one point, and my mum's excuse was that there is a Tesco on the high street. H how is that how you base property decisions? The fact that there's a Tesco on the high road. Not there's a train station. Nothing. There's a Tesco on the high road where Old she likes to go to. St. Lucian lady. Yep. All right. Bro, my mum ain't getting a black kitchen. I'm telling you that now. So we're in the garden, uh, the paving is down. I think it's Marshall Symphony Copper, shout out Elite Pave. They came in, they got delayed, 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 delayed due to no fault of our own or their own. Um, but they came in with a team of people. They managed to smash it out very, very quickly. It looks incredible. The garden's nearly finished. Still got fake grass to arrive, which is arriving, I think, tomorrow. So by the time you see the next house update, this would all be finished. It looks great. Like even down to like, Details like this make a big difference where they've done the manhole cover and they've made it a tile rather than just a black manhole cover. It's great. It's fantastic. Love it. Nice. And it's flush as well. It's flush. You've got the black border around everywhere. We've also done like a little pathway running all the way around. Um, we're going to have fake grass. Why are we having fake grass? One, so it doesn't get muddy or messy, easy to maintain. And it's just it's nice. just looks nice all year round. Zero maintenance. Zero maintenance. Um, we're still working on the pergola. To be fair, we were contacted by a few people that could do it. Um, what about the people who contacted me? Abby. I spoke to Abby. Abby was really cool. Abby and her husband, I want to say Bruce. Could be Bruce. I think it was Bruce, Bruce Wayne. No, not Bruce Wayne. I oh. spoke to Abby um, and a couple of other people have recommended, but I was going to do it before Christmas. I'm probably not going to do it before Christmas now. I've still got the issue with the pool. The pool is in. People are like, oh, it's not that big. It's, that. it's a resistant spa. It's not a full-blown pool because the garden is not the biggest. Um, but it's got uh, jets. It's got the, the pressure that comes towards you. So when you swim, you don't actually run out of pool. So you don't need the biggest pool in the world. But the problem I've got is the cover. Um, left it so, so late. I need a cover, guys. Even if it's panels. So what's it about? What's that? Four meters, six meters? It's, what's it, six, it's, you need three meters by six and a half or something like that. I need panels, even if someone can come in and make panels just, just for now where it's safe for the kids. So you don't have to worry about anyone falling in the pool, you can just mount the panels down, even if it takes two people to move them, I don't mind, but I need that to happen ASAP Rocky. Do you know what? If that's the case, Jan, and you're looking at pa uh, panels, then somebody could fabricate that relatively quickly. It won't be perfect, but somebody could probably fabricate that. That's, that's what we'd want then. If someone can do that, that'd be great. Uh, we're going to render, we've still got to render the wall, the external wall there, which is going to match everything else. But yeah, the fencing's great. It's really high. We're, we're actually very, very blocked in now. Secluded. Secluded is probably the right word. It's, it's a nice garden. And the good thing is the house is south facing, which means you always get the sun. Beautiful. Giving you them outdoor sockets. IP6. Out the sockets, you've got the light in, like there's a picture. If you look at this picture here, this is what the house looks like at night from the back. Nice, eh? We're still waiting for the guys to come and finish off the doors. The doors have been in for a while now. North London windows, they've come in, they've added magnets top and bottom. They had magnet at the top, but I was like, the doors are so high, so heavy. They've added in a separate magnet, but they're nice. Then I finish it off with the doors, the window and the doors on the end. What you'll notice is there's no blinds anywhere in the house. Um, the blind guy that can see, Elliot, uh, from London Interior Blinds, he's coming in this week. So when you're on the next house update, you'll see his work. But yeah, we've got blinds everywhere. Ah, oh, it's, I'm excited for the blinds. It does finish off the house. We're nearly, nearly there. But yeah, London Interior Blinds. But yeah, it looks great. And the lighting will all be turned on, obviously. You've got the external lighting, the nice lighting but all the motion sensor, 
no. security light. Where it will light it up like it's Wembley Stadium. Or QPR Stadium. Okay, QPR Stadium. And we've got the outhouse and we've got TV. High Life went nuts and they were like, Jan, listen, you've ordered a load from us, have an outside TV, which was very, very nice. So I've never actually seen an outside TV working properly. That's on a bracket as well, which is cool. So you can actually put, we're gonna have a pergola there, so they'd have the TV there, turn it for the pool when they're on the grass, whatever. We've got speakers outside as well, um, so that'd be cool. This is like um, a changing area, you've got a toilet in there as well. If you're having a party, um, rather than kids running through the house and messing up the house, they can just go to the toilet here. Simple, nice outside, but overall, do you know what I wanna say? A lot of people aren't gonna remember this. Very far back in the house updates, the garden actually finished here. Yep. Do you remember? Yeah, so we went out three meters from the house and we went back three meters. If we hadn't extended to the back, your garden would have ended here. Yeah, so the garden would have been short, but we went back three meters. All the houses have gone back three meters. Um, these houses were built on the back of other people's gardens. Imagine how big their gardens were. They must have had like three, 400 foot gardens. So I lost three meters there, but I gained three meters here. It's all usable space as well. Zero maintenance in the back garden, security lights, high fences, all secluded, outside television, music, lighting, pergolas. Uh, and we've run some gas out here or electric out to here somewhere. So you can have a heater here as well. Yeah, we've run gas and electric already, which is under floor, which is under one of the tiles, which we know where it is. So you can lift that back up when the pergola goes in um, eventually. As he says, when he first set up Jurassic Park, spared no expense. I wasn't a fan of Jurassic Park. How could, that's part of our child, was part of my child. You know, I went to see Jurassic Park three times. My mum, my auntie, then my mum again. Really? Yeah, oh, I love Jurassic Park. I went to Florida uh, and I went on the Jurassic Park ride, mm -hmm. which was cool, but I'm just not a fan of Jurassic Park. Not the film? No. Nah. It's a classic, man. No, nah. you went to see James Bond, didn't you? I did. I haven't seen it yet, three hours long. I like this, it's worth it. I'd watch James Bond six hours. It's definitely worth it. Yeah? Yeah, I, I'm not going to spoil it for you. It's definitely worth it. Okay. Daniel Craig's the man. Is he the man? Best James Bond ever? ever? For me, yes. No, Roger Moore. You can't ask someone their opinion and then say no. I can. Okay, so you, <laughs> yes. think, you think Daniel Craig, yeah? Daniel Craig, then Sean Connery. I like Roger Moore though. Yeah, Roger Moore's third. Yeah? Yeah. But who will be the next James Bond? Do you think there should be a black James Bond next? They asked me, but I said, do you know what? I'm busy. I've got to finish Jan's house. Can't really do it. Because, oh, I've spoiled it for Pete. You haven't seen it, have you? Ah, uh, oh. we can't show any of this. Anyway, on that bombshell, literally. Bond shell or bombshell? You ruined it, so we're not talking to you anymore. Okay, fine. That is the end of this house update. We'll be back probably in the next 10 days, I'd say, for another house update. There'll be a one full house update, I think, on the cinema for sure. Then there'll be a house update on the fully finished house. And I think there'll, there's going to be continuous house updates, but we will definitely do a video where we sit through and watch them all. Um, see the Frosty episode and the fun episode and the start episode and how we looked and our bodies are going to do this yeah. throughout, <laughs> throughout, the, um, throughout all the episodes. It's been a long year, but we're finally there, guys. And by the time you're watching this, I still wouldn't have moved in. But the week after, I would have. Yeah. Every day, things are changing massively here. So by the end of today, it'll be a massive difference in every day. That's it. Shebang are in as well um, to finish all the security and the alarms off. But we'll catch them on the next video. Shout out Lee. And um, when are you going to show the final part of the security, the final piece in the jigsaw? The final piece, um, that will be, I don't know if it's going to be the, probably, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, you'll see that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you on the next one. Later. <laughs>